We do this scientific work because we want to go into uncharted water. We want to, this is the sense of adventure. Humans are the carriers that transport diseases. Everything we touch provides an opportunity for the pathogen to spread from one person to another. Our daily interactions form the social network along which germs travel. But imagine if we could use that social network to predict the path of a virus before it travels around the globe. Then perhaps the germ you carry to get your morning coffee won't lead to an outbreak because you'll know when to be ready for it. The way we can look at the world is we think in terms of networks now. Everything basically that we have built around us is a network. When you have such an awareness, you can really think about changing the world around you. One of the things that we really want to achieve is predictive power to track diseases and then develop models that allow us to forecast their evolution across the world. We integrate entire databases on human mobility, census data on where people live geographically located, and that's create a kind of synthetic world in the computer. From this synthetic world in the computer, we run numerical simulations that forecast what and how and when the epidemic will spread around the world. You have to hand out those forecasts and scenarios to policymakers, and then they have to factor many, many things. You can tell hospitals, this is the time that you have to postpone anything that can be routinely postponed and that intensive care units must be free because you might face a wave of sick people needing attention. We can all think back to the H1N1 epidemic of 2009. That was the first time we were in a position to do a real-time exercise. And what we were able to predict, according to our data, was that the flu was going to peak in October-November, which is about four months earlier than the flu usually peaks. So we can do a validation of those results, and those results were mostly correct by the week. Now we can see that our computational models, the data that we integrate, and the knowledge that we have accumulated on the spreading of diseases, is finally being recognized for achieving predictive powers. At this moment, what we have here at Northeastern is the concentration of the most prominent people in the field. This is where things are happening. And somehow, you know, what I feel is that we are living in some kind of a revolution. So network science, data science, what we have at the moment is something that allows us to do incredible progress in an, an area that, you know, was not even possible to uh, to define 10 years ago. That's really like being in the right spot at the right time. It's, it's, uh, it's amazing.